Knowing exactly what language activities or games to do with your baby, your toddler or school child is not always easy. That is why today I'm sharing three basic language games and activities with you that you should be doing with your multilingual baby or toddler. The process of language acquisition is natural and it mainly requires consistent and extensive exposure to the target language. From the time the baby is in the womb, we transmit our languages to our children by simply talking to them, once they are born, also through nonverbal communication. However, children need more opportunities to develop a wide range of vocabulary in each language. That doesn't happen automatically. They need to be exposed to different situations and have enough chances to explore various domains of life using language. Please click the like button to support this channel. Thanks. Okay, let's start. Number one, repeat like a parrot. Especially with babies, it is crucial that you spend time maintaining eye contact and reinforcing their attempts to produce sounds and communicate through gestures. So how do you do that? Well, by repeating and imitating their vocalizations, raising the pitch or lower your voice and playing with your sounds and with facial expressions. For example, ba, ba, ba. Muy bien, estás hablando conmigo, ba. Ma, ma, mami, sí, yo soy tu mami. Muy bien. ¿Qué más quieres contarme? Cuéntame, ¿qué más? Ah, cu, 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 sí, muy bien, cu, 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 cu. Mmm, peekaboo! Mmm, cuckoo, ta da! Cuckoo, ta da! Muy bien! Bravo, Nini! ¿Me vas a contar algo más? ¿Qué me quieres contar? ¿Qué me quieres contar? Mm -hmm. You get the idea, right? You can do this activity with any consonants, vowels, syllables that your baby utters. To do this sort of activities with your baby is tremendously important for their language development because it's their first attempts to communicate with you and other attachment figures. So by reacting to their gestures and sounds, you are putting interest in their attempts to convey a message and that will boost their interest in making more effort to start talking and producing even more sounds. In other words, this is the way to motivate your baby to start talking. The perfect time to do this is while changing the diapers or when the baby is in the stroller or lying on your legs, on your lap, when your baby's basic needs are met. Meaning when your baby is awake, satisfied, not hungry or tired or dirty, for example. This is important because you want to get the most out of your baby's short concentration span. They get tired fast and then they just don't pay attention anymore. You can also sign up for baby sign language classes to add signs that you can use to emphasize specific words in your family languages like more, water, hunger, tired, and so on. The key point here is repeat the sounds that your baby makes and interact with your baby as much as possible, making eye contact, using facial expressions and body language and sounds. Number two. Songs and rhymes. To sing is in my eyes one of the best tools to pass on languages, particularly in the first years of life. Make it a habit to sing with your baby regularly because by doing so they recognize patterns of speech and learn vocabulary more easily. The high amount of repetition is what makes the language stick to their baby's brains. Encourage your baby or toddler to imitate your actions, to clap, to throw kisses, to wave, to count with the fingers and do other movements that can be combined 
with songs. One song that babies love is, for example, Itsy Bitsy Spider. Witsy Witsy Araña, subió su telaraña, vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y se secó la lluvia y Witsy Witsy Araña otra vez subió. That one is also very popular and can be found in various languages and on the internet. Again, if you can't find the version in your language, just adapt the wording so that you can use the same melody but in your target language. You're going to notice that your baby is going to start making the movements with you on time and will probably want to listen to the song over and over and over and over again. Repetition is important. But not only songs are a brilliant tool to develop language skills, also rhymes are really loved by babies and toddlers. There are plenty of rhymes that use the fingers, for example. Der Gott auf Afrika, der lugt in Torik na. Der seid a de a de, der seid auf Wiedersehen. Und der Klinsch, der seid, pass auf, im Nil hat's große Krokodil. My husband, he sang all sorts of different songs in Danish with our kids. Some I knew, some were new to me. I remember the one, Tommelfinger, Tommelfinger, wo er du? Hey, 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 goody, goody, goody. You can even draw a little face on your finger and make it more fun for your child. I'm sure that the baby will love that. It's not completely necessary to have music playing in the background as well. Singing alone is already wonderful. I played sometimes the guitar and sang, but I realized that when they were little, they were more interested in the gestures and movements that I did, or that my husband did, than the sounds of the guitar. You would have to try out and see what works with your baby and your toddler. Songs and rhymes are fantastic supplements because they are very practical. You just need your voice and your body for it and you can sing while bathing, brushing teeth, in the car, before going to bed or anywhere you want. But if singing is not so much your thing, just use background music to support you or find a YouTube channel or Spotify list that you like with children lullabies and other songs. Another possibility is to find a music course. I went, for example, for several years every week to sing with my babies and toddlers in Swiss German. But remember, it's not the same thing to just let your child listen to a song than to sing to your child. That has a much greater effect in, in terms of language learning. This is very important. The interaction with your baby is actually what counts. The key point here is songs and rhymes are magnificent language learning tools. So try and sing to your baby or toddler regularly. Also encourage family members and other attachment fears to do the same in their strongest language. And number three. In German speaking countries, they do three like this. In Latin America, you do it three like this. So I did like this, but I can also do it like this. How do they do it in your country? Guess and find. This activity is suited for toddlers or older children. You need toys or any objects that can be grouped together. Place the things on the floor or on a table and choose one without telling your child. Now, your toddler needs to guess which object it is by asking at least three yes or no questions, closed questions, like, is it red? Is it a toy? Does it have a grip? Is it the dice? No. Is it the cow? Yes. Good job. Now it's your turn. You know? You can also play this by using picture books or simply by choosing anything that you can see in that moment. If you are interested in learning more essential activities and games that you can implement in your routines to develop your babies or toddlers multilingual potential, check out the link below. You will find a mini course with many more inspiring and easy to implement activities and games. If you are struggling with figuring out what languages to speak to your child and how don't hesitate in booking a consultation with me to get started on the right foot or get back on track for success.
Thank you for watching this world's multilingual family. Keep on doing a great job and check out these other videos for more inspiration.